this is the thing I hate the most about tidying up and doing my washing. I don't mind doing everything else, give me a hoover, I'm happy. Doing the washing, for me, and hanging it on this thing that tends to fall down every time I put it up, I could easily throw it out the window, but do you know what? I need it, and it does the job. So one of the main things that I'm doing here to get back on track is get the nutrients in straight away. So this is uh, quite early in the morning. Um, I've been quite full of cold and my tonsils are flared, so it's all about the vitamin C. Uh, fresh oranges, lots of water. Um, just want to sort of hydrate myself and get back on track. So this set me up for the day nicely. Now was the time to catch up with a few of my online clients uh, from around the world. I actually do have a client in Sierra Leone, which is absolutely on the other side of the world. And I love working with her, uh, setting her different workouts each week. It's something that I'm very passionate about. And then I normally head to Starbucks in the morning, get my morning coffee, the staff know what coffee I have, and I sort my morning diary out for the day. So just about to um, try and get another gym session in, it'll be day two. Um, yesterday was really light, um, I don't feel like it, but I'm going to get in there, push myself a little bit. I need to sweat because even though when you're not feeling too great, you just need to sort of like sweat your toxins out of your body. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in there shortly. <coughs> oh, horrible. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in there shortly. I'm going to do a full upper body session. And I'm going to do a 10k bike ride uh, just because I know that I need to sweat. I'm not going to push too hard, but again, it's another day ticked off. Um, I'm going to get back in the sauna, steam, sweat it out. And another quick point, if you're back in the gym after a while um, and you're starting to build up again slowly, um, focus on quality over quantity. Make sure you get your technique right. Take the weight slow. You don't want to be lifting them fast unless you're working for power. Um, Try and really think about the muscle you're working. If you're doing a back exercise, are you squeezing in the right areas? Okay. What muscle are you working? Focus on that in your head and take it nice and slow. Um, time under tension is really important, especially to change your body. You're going to have to feel a little bit of discomfort. Um, but as, as I said, don't try and take the easy, easy way out of, uh, of your weight session. Every single rep counts. And if you treat it that way, quality work, um, you will see results, results a lot faster. Um, but then also it's based on your nutrition as well. So you need to be eating well. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting back into it and I'll catch you inside. So here I'm focusing on pulling my shoulders down, retracting my shoulder blades together with each pull and trying to bring it as close to my upper chest as possible. Again, time under tension, nice and slow. I'm not rushing the movement. I want to put my muscles through that tension. Again, just wanted to activate my chest muscles. Uh, again, taking it nice and slow and a good squeeze as I push through the movement.
now, so this is working the biceps. I'm focusing on keeping my elbows hooked into my side, wedged into my side. Again, I'm coming all the way up, I'm squeezing as I get to the top. Try not to rush this movement on the way down, it should also be a slow tempo. Next up is the tricep extension, I'm using a rope here, again keeping my elbows locked into my side and I'm slightly leaning forward just so I can really get that squeeze on the angle and I can pull my arms as straight as possible down by my side. Again, look at the time under tension, look at the tempo, nothing too fast, it's all under control. So then, good day all in all, um, slowly getting back on track and that is the aim of this channel guys, is to help you come from the bottom to the top, right? If you're feeling in a rut, I'm going to try and help you get out of it. Like I said, I've done it before, I've helped a lot of clients do it um, and yeah, it really starts with baby steps. Someone always said to me in the morning, uh, once you get up, make your bed. That's rule number one. Make sure you make your bed. And that's something I learned at Manchester United that. Um, make your bed, have standards, set yourself standards, ha clean your, your space, your personal space says a lot about yourself. If you're living in a mess, your mind's going to be a mess. And if you're living in a clean space, everything's organised. Your diary's set for work. You know what you're doing that day you're gonna have a clear mind. Um, and that's where fitness comes into it. If you're healthy and you're eating and you feel, you're fueling your body in the correct way with nutrients, not processed foods, you're drinking plenty of water. It's not rocket science, guys. It's uh, simple nutrition, this. You don't have to cook fancy meals to be healthy. Uh, get yourself to the gym. If you don't have a personal trainer, can you join a gym class at the local gym? Pure gym is £20 a month. There's loads of pure gyms around England. I think mine is £18 I think I pay. They have free classes once you remember. 30 minute, 45 minute classes. Do that three times a week. An instructor's going to take you through a class three times a week for £18 a month. So there's no excuse. And once you start to feel fitter, stronger, happier, healthier, changes your mindset completely. You'll have this magical energy around your body. People will see that you're happier. People will see that you look healthy. Um, and this is a massive thing, this. I've trained a lot of business men and women through the eight years that I've been a personal trainer. And there's been stories where once they've gotten into good habits, they trained regularly, pushing themselves in the gym, they start to eat better, step by step by step. Their businesses have gone through the roof. So everything's connected. Your mental, your physical, your work-life balance um, and that's where it all comes into being a successful person so it's up to you to change um, get a trainer all you like but I'll tell you what there's only you that can change yourself and you can do it I'm telling you now anyone can do it if you want to you've got to put your mind to it and it all starts with day one tomorrow so to finish off on today's video um, You've seen a little bit about my day, how I've started to get myself back on track. Started with me getting up in the morning, making my bed, having a shower, having my morning coffee, lots of water, tidying my apartment, clean environment, going to the gym, sweating, working hard in the gym, pushing myself, having a sauna, self-care, self-love, eating well after the sauna, had a nice meal, lots of nutrients in the meal, loads more water, and you can change things around so quickly. So, if this advice is of any help to anybody, like I said, even if I help 10 people, if I help one person, I've done my job. If I help 100, 1,000, even better. Please keep following uh, my YouTube. I'm here to help. And again, please like my video. Please subscribe, because I've only got seven followers so far, um, or something like that. And comment down below if anything's helped you um, to achieve a better life so far. Um, but remember, baby steps first, you can do it.